let's go ahead and just start off with fracture sounds and just kind of settle in. Tell your story How many keys do you need To share what's inside of you Some need only 25 And others 49 Some need the whole 88 some go even further with 97 keys Whatever you choose I know that your story will be great How many keys do you need to tell your story? And a Celeste doesn't have 88 keys But the keys that it has are beautiful Now... Here we go. You know, fracture sounds, I tell you, within the past year, they have just taken things up to a, an entirely different level. It's amazing. And you have their signature, you have their signature atmospheres. Let me turn those atmospheres off a little bit. So you hear the, um, the pure sound, and then we've got a little color that kind of helps adjust the tone. And then we can actually, we can go in and make this almost like a pad. Okay, hold on a second now. I am, I hope I'm hearing the right thing. I am, but am I hearing something else? <laughs> Okay, let's see. Okay, hold on a second. Yeah, that's that's Moonlight Celeste that we're listening to. I've got so many things loaded here, it's hard for me to keep track. Let's see. And make sure you guys are hearing this okay. So are you hearing the instrument okay? Is everything sounding okay? Yeah, good. Thank you, Chad. Okay. Yeah, it just sounds so beautiful. <laughs> now that's just dry. And then we've got reverb. Now look at the reverbs. They were just really smart, I think, because uh, I was always adding shimmer verb to everything. And, um, and they gave it to us here. I'm going to turn the shimmer verb on and let's, um, yeah, at the, uh, at the real short, uh, at the real short uh, attacks, it does kind of sound that way. Uh, more like a xylophone type of thing. Sam, good to see you. Hello. Happy piano day. Now this is, the, yeah, when you, when you hit it real sharp like that, that's the, uh, Let's just lay into it a little bit. And let's turn the atmospheres off. I think that's what that's what we're kind of hearing. And the shimmer of her. And let's see if we've got some snapshots here. Yeah, so we've got a few snapshots here. 
Um, let's go to pale blue dot. And they've turned the attack way up. All of the textures and atmospheres are derived from the um, samples. Yeah. Beautiful. And then the close and characterful. Charact characterful. Just gorgeous. And we can go in and just, um, you know, fine tune the response. That's the key to um, not all keyboards and controllers respond to libraries the same way. And so depending on what you have, uh, you go in under the hood and you tweak until you feel connected with the instrument. Uh, you get that, um, get that right connection. Um, you know, I think that a lot of the uh, developers are able to leverage what's built into contact, but I think there's there are ways that you can bring your own stuff in. Um, I think there, I mean, because I see like companies like Fracture Sounds, Orange Tree, different ones, they, they have so many different effects. It's amazing to see what's all packaged in there. Um, good to see you, Jeremiah. Okay. Uh, so that's just a quick, you know, and the thing is, we're going to be moving quick. <laughs> we're going to be moving quick. Um, yeah. And then you've got room tone. You can turn the room tone off and um, the atmosphere decay. Uh, that's kind of cool. You can decay naturally or it'll have an infinite sustain. So it'll keep going when you release the key. Uh, so they give you some very nice things. Uh, we've got some lo-fi things going on, like with tape saturation. So with the Celeste, yeah, we can go crazy. Um, let's see, listen to that. I just love it. It's beautiful. Um, and while we're here, I think... Um, Okay, let's see. Uh, I'm going to just see what I've got here. Uh, see, you've got all of these, uh, you've got all of these blueprint libraries. And, um, oh man, let me see. Let me see if I, I think I, inst I installed it. Or, you know what, I bet you they, they've done this. Let's see. Okay, so let me do this. I'm going to open up, um, I'm just going to go ahead and, open up contact seven. Yeah, Dennis, you were asking if I had uh, contact seven. And so I, I, I am very, I love the familiarity of contact. Okay, wait. <laughs> loading, 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 loading. Come on, give it back. <laughs> oh man, come on, give it back. Give it back. Oh man, don't replace your synth. In a live on a live stream. <laughs> there we go. There we go. We got it back. Uh, so this is um, now. This is context. Oh no, we're 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 going to be we're going to be right here. So this is um, context seven. And let me see. Yeah, yeah. So 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 the thing is, their new blueprint is only available in the context seven player. So this is a free, this is a free instrument kind of based on some of the uh, recordings that they, that they did for, um, let's see. Oh yeah. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Owen would know. Yeah. Owen would know. So uh, that's good. That's good. Thank you, Owen, for clearing that up because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. So yeah. So this is all things that are built into the contact uh, contact ecosystem. Um, so that's cool. And Inlet Audio is also in the house, and it's good to see you. We're going to take a look at a couple of their beautiful instruments. So this is the free uh, blueprint, the latest blueprint. I think it was released today. Oh, okay. Let's do some volume adjustment. Just a classic toy piano. And then we can turn off the click kit, the, the kick, the, the key clicks. <laughs> <laughs> 